I'm Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV, sponsored by Wes Smith. This afternoon I'm with the lovely Lady Reason, who's returning to Edinburgh after her smash hit Fringe debut in 2012. Now, Lady Reason, what can we expect from you this year? Um, the same hilarious banter, stunning songs and gorgeous gowns and <laughs> seduction. Gorgeous of gowns? Yes, I know, I just rolled out of bed today. Just like this? <laughs> yeah. Now do you wake up every day like this? Yeah, yeah fresh <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> and could you briefly introduce and briefly describe your show? Oh uh, yeah, I'm like a, a chanteuse from another era, but um, like in the past, but uh, with the consciousness of 2013. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like um, the singer who comes with a sparkly gown and, and a stunning voice and hilarious banter and lose everyone away. Yeah, and I'm really into. I call it cabaretesque. It's like a hybrid of cabaret and burlesque. And it's a. It's like um. Yeah, it's a. It's a. It's just like an hour long date. With me. So you take do you take some contemporary song and and some sort of classic songs. And yeah, I also write. Put your own spin. Yeah, I have my own okay. um, songs, original songs that I sing. But I have um, this show will be. It's like it's a real mixture. It's like 70, 70 covers, and not seventy. It's, it's a fourteen-hour show. Um, no, seventy uh, percent. I get in trouble every night. Um, but it's a uh, it's um, three three original three original songs and uh, and seven covers. And we'll we'll be able to. That's all this this year as well. These seven covers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. There might be only two original. I might be lying, uh, but regardless of the numbers, mm. it's a wonderful. And you started your career in New York. Uh, yeah, th of Lady Rizzo. I was an actress okay. um, before on, on the West Coast, but then when I moved to New York, I realized, oh, this is going to make me very bitter. Mm -hmm. By being an actress in New York, it, um, I just it wasn't going to go well for me, and so I I wanted to put a uh, steering wheel back in my own hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, and create something that would bring casting agents and and then it just kind of took off of, as a career. And before that, I had only considered singing as a hobby. I was an actress who sang because yeah. um, I really thought that I loved it too much to do it as a profession. Um, so um, finally, I got over that. And you haven't lost any of your or Oregon roots? Oh, you did some research, <laughs> did you, Ross? <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's inside of me. It's obviously like covered up with much more um, chic glamour. But um, I was born in a in a kind of artist communal environment where my parents were doing theater in barns and uh, like Brecht and Shakespeare. So um, so they would perform these shows and and this kind of their own ragtag kind of like hippie way. Oregon spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good American accent. <laughs> Now, does that pick up? Can people, can people tell it? You know what I think they can feel is that um, that I have a heart of gold. No, but I think they can feel they can you feel that like out. that I no that I have love. Like, okay. I have love for the audience. I'm generous in spirit, even though I'm a bitch. Mm -hmm. Like you know, and like um, quick and, and and cunning sometimes. Like it, it's all on top of a true heartfelt generosity for the audience and the mm -hmm. experience. Not a shoegazer, yeah. or um, or yeah, or and I, yeah, I think that because I'm so comfortable on stage, because I've been doing it since I was three, it's like second nature to me. So I'm not nervous. I, I you know I have a moment of nerves beforehand, but the moment I'm on stage, if I know the words of the song, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> then I am I am living more fully than Loving. I am right now. Excited butterflies <laughs> in your stomach. Yeah, no, I just I love it, <laughs> and, you, and you can tell. And how do you find the, the Edinburgh audience? Are we? They're so sweet. Oh I my guess. god, they're like fans of performance, and I feel that in the UK in general there is a it's it's a cultural like staple to care about live performance, and that is very different than the US. Live performance is kind of like what you do in 
like once a month in between all the movies and TV. Yeah. See. Or uh, other performers trade around twenty dollar bills to see each other shows. So you'd say, is it more difficult then? Okay. Pardon? Is it more difficult to perform to a local audience? Well, in New York, um, it's not okay. because they that, love it. Yeah, they love it, and, and there's a, a history and tradition there. And I found my cult audience mm -hmm. through through, but to come to London and to come to Scott Edinburgh and just be like slapped down in the middle of all <laughs> these fantastic performers, it, it, I really felt it as a as a lift in appreciation of the craft. Best of luck to you for this year. Thank Maybe you, Ross. Thank you, Ross. Now remind us, you were at the Assembly Checkpoint. Yes. And it's 7.40. It's 7.41 every night. Yeah, 7.41 <laughs> at, <laughs> at the Assembly Checkpoint, which is a brand new venue. Okay, and it's really see. cool. Are you going to come? I will do. I promise. promise? Thank you, promise. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ross Jennings from Wapper TV.